We're going to create what comes after the personal computer. And it was a telephone. It was essentially going to be a smartphone with a lot of intelligence. In it. When we were talking about reinventing telephony, we meant it. The actual idea was 1988. I was in a restaurant in New York. The name of the restaurant was Under Toi, one, two, three. And I drew three circles, and those three circles embodied the vision. When the vision came, it came as, as it's portrayed in the film so, so nicely by the filmmakers, it was crisp and clear. <laughs> and there was no doubt at all that, that I had been put in touch or I was in touch with something uh, quite uh, 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 important and inevitable. We're trying to make something that people love. We need it to be like your watch, your glasses, your wallet. We decided to make everything. That meant we were custom building every piece. It's, it's insane. How small will it finally be, do you think? Someday, Dick Tracy wristwatch. This was the beginning of what became, I think, the most important company to come out of Silicon Valley that nobody's ever heard of. It was this aura of secrecy. You know, it had apples, fairy dust sprinkled on it. We had no idea what it was, but by the rumors, it seemed just captivating. Your, your error, error was, you were too early. You were too early. To, you saw into the future too soon. Exactly. We saw into the future too clearly too soon. And by, by being able to articulate and explain where it was going, it became real, it became palpable. So we were all able to say, oh, it's, it's there, it's obvious, let's go do it. Um, yes, the first, the first innovator is, is not is not the, the winner a lot of the times. Uh, Apple was not the first computer. Microsoft was not the first software company. Mm. And so it goes right down the line. Facebook was not the first social media company. Yeah. It goes right down the line. Almost everyone who is the, who's the big winner now was not the original pioneer. Today we are launching Newton a revolution for the pocket. They had uh, decided to make something essentially based on our original models. It's the most important thing that I've ever been involved with in my entire life. It's bad enough you get betrayed by them, but now they're going to try to put you out of business. That was fighting. That was battle. Here's a test. What if general magic never happened? Would we have had Android? Not a chance. I mean, all these things were linked together, one after another. So much of what came out of General Magic is the foundation of everything we take for granted today. The reason you should care about the story of General Magic is because it involves something fundamental, and that is failure isn't the end. Failure is actually the beginning. I hope it creates inspiration to people that even if they may have failed in the past, it might just be bad timing, or it might just be that they didn't meet the right people at the right time. But we all have a change that we can make in the world. And so I hope it inspires people to follow it.